in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings today is the 8th of february wednesday of the 5th week in ordinary time what is special today today we mark the day of prayer and awareness against human trafficking how this celebration came about the pontifical council for justice and peace and the international union of superiors general has designated february 8 as an annual day of prayer and awareness against human trafficking February 8th is the feast day of Saint Josephine Bakita. On this day, Catholics all over the world are encouraged to host or attend prayer services to create greater awareness about this phenomenon. Now, let's try to understand the saint of the day. on 8th of february we celebrate the optional memorial of saint josephine bakita who is she she is a canossian sister lived 78 years saint josephine was born in the year 1869 into a wealthy sudanese family near darfur she was kidnapped when she was 9 years old and forced into slavery her kidnappers named her bakita meaning fortunate in arabic she was sold and resold beaten and tortured by her owners until 1883 when she was purchased by an italian council who treated her well he brought her to italy to work as a nanny in 1889 the italian courts ruled that bakita was enslaved illegally and declared her a free woman she became enormer with the catholic faith and chose to stay in italy she took the christian name of josephine and in 1896 entered the institute of Canossian Daughters of Charity She was affectionately called a black mother by the Italians and her amiable spirit and warm heart won the admiration of many people during her 50 years of religious life She died on February 8 1947 in italy and she was canonized by pope john paul ii on october 1st in the year 2000 she was the first native sudanese to become a saint saint josephine bakita pray for us Now let's read the first reading of the day. A reading from the book of Genesis 
chapter 2 verses 4 to 9 then 15 to 17 in the day that the lord god made the earth and the heavens when no bush of the field was yet in the land and no small plant of the field had yet sprung up for the lord god had not caused it to rain on the land and there was no man to work the ground and a mist was going up from the land and was watering the whole face of the ground then the lord god formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living creature and the lord god planted a garden in eden in the east and there he put the man whom he had formed and out of the ground the lord god made to spring up every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food the tree of life was in the midst of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil the lord god took the man and put him in the garden of eden to work it and keep it and the lord god commanded the man saying You may surely eat of every tree of the garden but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat for in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die the word of the lord thanks be to god my dear brother and sister imagine that you have taken a hiking trip in the mountains while standing at the foot of the slopes you become absorbed by the surrounding forest and its wild life then after climbing to the top you marvel at the breath taking view below you the two perspectives complement one another and enrich your appreciation of the beauty around you in a similar way my dear friend the opening chapters of the bible present two different accounts of creation two accounts that enrich us by their distinctive points of view the first account gives a panoramic view of the universe as it was created by god this view from above emphasizes the sovereignty of god and highlights the effortless manner by which he brought everything into being the universe is created with magnificent order with man and woman as the crown of this creation the second account offers a view from below god is described in personal human terms planting a garden for the man who is his precious creation like a skilled potter he forms man that is adam from the mud adama of the earth and breathes life into him this account is filled with indications of god's personal love man and woman whom he created with such care and mastery 
These two accounts come from different periods in Israel's history. The second account comes from the Yahweh's tradition, named because of a preference for using the term Yahweh or the Lord, which produced it in the early 10th century before Christ during the time of King David or Solomon. The first account comes from the tradition of the priestly writers in the 5th century when the Israelites were returning from exile in Babylon and wanted to establish their unique identity among the peoples. So what are we saying? That in the book of Genesis, there are two accounts of creation. Yesterday and day before yesterday, we saw the first account of creation. And this account comes from a tradition called priestly traditions. Today, we read a different account or in other words, second creation account from the same book that is Genesis. And this second account comes from a tradition called Yahwist tradition because they are using the word Yahweh in their text. That's the difference. Again, I say in the book of Genesis, there are two accounts of creation. Today, what we read is from the second creation account and that comes from Yahwist tradition. The first account that we find in the first pages of the Bible comes from priestly tradition. That's all. Brothers and sisters, we have benefited greatly over the past century from the work of biblical scholars who are unlocking the treasures of divine wisdom contained in scripture. Why not read some of the commentaries on the books of the Bible? Why not attend some classes or courses on Bible so that we have a deeper understanding of the background of the Bible? As we understand the background of the scriptures more clearly, we can come to a better appreciation of its original meaning and that can only help us apply its teaching to our lives. Father, just as the heavens declare your glory, so may my life be a living testimony to your love, your power and your grace. Amen. My dear brother and sister, the responsorial praises God for giving food to all the creatures that God has made. It also speaks of God's sending forth the divine spirit, that is Ruah, that is part of the creative force and the sustaining force within creation. This recalls God breathing the Ruah into the Adama and the first human being coming forth, that is Adam. Let's pray that psalm now. Your response, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, how great you are. Clothed in majesty and honor, wrapped in light as with a robe. Bless the Lord, O my soul. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. 
you give it they gather it up you open wide your hand they are well filled bless the lord o oh my soul you take away their breath they die returning to the dust from which they came you send forth your spirit and they are created and you renew the face of the earth bless the lord o oh my soul glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen my dear brother and sister let's pray for god's blessing now may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays especially anusha montero from koppa chikmangalur limuel adam miranda from derebail queeni nasrit from bindur wilma pinto from new zealand fragen channel disuza from oman muscat juliet tavares from corona aldona goa wish you all a happy birthday god bless you ivan prakash and lavina alwa from mudbelle udupi mathais and janet sera from kuwait rita and john lobo from morgan's gate mangalore ronald and rita de souza from naravi steven roach and neeta maria de souza from permanur mangalore and michael and janet monis from agripada mumbai are celebrating their wedding anniversary today congratulations dear friends may god bless your family life and we pray for the departed soul of joseph furtado from kasia mangalore may the lord grant him eternal rest that's all for today my dear friends have a great day see you tomorrow bye bye